Uh, earlier, I caught up with longtime sportscaster Tim Spellacy, and I asked him what it was like watching the Oilers come so close but falling short to making history. To be honest, it was heartbreaking, to, I have to say, because you get all the way to Game 7, and you, you know there's a chance you can win it all in Game 7, and it just doesn't happen. It was so close. It was it was a game that could have gone either way. There were some scrambling chances in the third period, but it seemed to me in that, that once it was 2-1, Florida just really shut it down. So to get all the way there, and going back to what Mark just mentioned, it's a, it's it's somewhat similar to 2006 when they went and they uh, got to the seventh game against Carolina. But as Mark mentioned, they were an eighth-place team in the conference, you know, barely made the playoffs that year. And and to come into this game, you know, there's greater expectations, and that was the, the big disappointment, I guess. And the other thing that happened after 2006 is uh, that began – the decade of darkness. Chris Pronger left town, and the orders didn't make the playoffs. Didn't make the playoffs for another ten years after two thousand six. Um, what do you think the future holds for this edition of the Edmonton Oilers? I, I think the future is great. I mean, you look at you got McDavid and Drysaddle, Bouchard, Skinner, and others. And you know, the orders really needed to get a little farther this year. You know, a couple of years ago they were swept by Colorado in the conference final. They needed to get farther in the conference final and, and get all the way to the, the Stanley Cup final, which was great. Going down three nothing, that was kind of difficult, but to get to game seven was a huge move forward for this organization. So it's great news for the organization. The players like McDavid and Dreisaitl, Leon's got one year left in his contract, McDavid's got two years left. They know that this is the team that they can stay with to win the Stanley Cup eventually. And so that bodes well for the organization. On the other hand, you get all the way to Game 70, and you can win it all. Just one goal, as we saw tonight, one goal at the right time, and that just shut everything down. So that's the disappointment. But but there's great things ahead for this team. On the other hand, there's 32 teams in the National Hockey League. Only 16 make the playoffs. Some very good teams don't make the playoffs. Some very good teams, like the Toronto Maple Leafs, Vegas, they lose out in the first round. Here's Vegas. They got to the final a few years ago, won it all last year, didn't get past one round. So you never know what's going to happen. This team's going to be great, very good. You know, best player ever, Connor McDavid, followed by Leon and others. But uh, getting all the way to the seventh game of the Stanley Cup final again, that's not going to be easy.